looking for the best new dropper seat post for your mountain bike? After researching the best models on the market we purchased 12 for side-by-side -side testing and comparison. By allowing you to raise and lower your seat to ensure that it is always in the right spot for every rise and fall in the trail, the dropper post has completely transformed the way we ride. It can be a challenge to sift through the market and find the right one, so our professional testers used these posts for hundreds of hours and thousands of miles on a huge range of terrain in a variety of weather and temperature conditions to provide you with the best information possible. The first product on our list is Bike Yoke Revive. Few people had heard of the German company Bike Yoke until they started making one of the best dropper seat posts on the market. We'd heard rumors about the Revive's performance, so we couldn't wait to get our hands on one and test it against the competition. Turns out, the hype is warranted. The Revive is one of the best droppers we've ever used. It has incredibly smooth travel and a very easy compression force. It features a unique design and the innovative Revive valve, which lets you quickly and easily reset the hydraulic internals should it develop sag over time. This post comes with Bike Yoke's Triggy 1X remote lever, which is among the best we've used. The Revive is also easy to set up and has a sturdy two-bolt saddle clamp design. There was little we didn't like about the Revive. We tested the 185mm version, and as a result, it was a bit heavier with a longer overall length than the shorter travel competition. That said, in terms of grams per millimeter of travel it ends up being one of the lightest. It's also a little pricey, but considering the quality and performance, we feel that the expense is justified. The second product is TransX Kitsuma Air. TransX has recently expanded their distribution and they now offer some of the least expensive aftermarket dropper posts on the market. The Kitsuma Air is the most affordable model we've ever tested, yet we were pleasantly surprised by its consistent and reliable performance throughout testing. Installation is easy, and it can be used with any remote lever you choose. We opted to test it with the Trans X1X remote, which is also affordable and has good ergonomics and a light lever feel. We were thoroughly impressed by this post's super smooth travel in both compression and extension. It also features an air spring that allows you to adjust the rate of return. A simple but sturdy two-bolt clamp secures the saddle rails and gave us no issues during testing. The 200mm post we tested is among the heaviest in the test. That said, it's also the longest post we tested, and its weight is actually quite reasonable considering the drop length. It is sold as a post only, so you will need to purchase a remote if you don't have one already. Extended post lengths are also a bit longer than some of the competition, so fitment could be an issue for some riders and bikes. Beyond that, we were extremely impressed by this post's performance, especially for the price. The next product in our list is 1UP Components V2. The 1UP V2 thoroughly impressed our testers and is among the best dropper posts we've tested. Combine that stellar performance with a low price tag, and the V2 is easily one of the best values in the test. This dropper easily performs as well or better than models that cost twice as much. 1UP wants you to get all of the drop you can squeeze onto your bike, and every millimeter of length has been shaved from this post giving it an impressively short stack height and extended length. It also has adjustable travel, so you can fine-tune the drop length and fit even further. For a cable-actuated post, it was super easy to install with the cut end of the cable at the remote. Testers were thoroughly impressed by its smoothness of travel and easy compression force. The 1UP remote has good ergonomics, a light lever feel, and short throw, all of which help to make saddle height adjustments easier. It is also offered in 120, 150, 180, and 210 mm lengths and the three most common diameters. Our biggest gripe with the V2 dropper is that it doesn't automatically come with a remote lever. While it can be frustrating to purchase a remote separately, it does ensure that you get the lever you want. We purchased the 1UP remote to test with the V2 post and found them to work very well together. Beyond that, we found little else to complain about this affordable high-performance dropper post. Whether you're on a budget or not, you should give the 1UP V2 a look. 
The next product in our list is RockShox Reverb AXS. The RockShox Reverb AXS is one of the most exciting new dropper posts to hit the market in some time. By combining their proven reverb design with their AXS technology, RockShox has finally brought wireless technology to the masses, the masses who can afford it anyway. Without cables or hoses, it couldn't be easier to install and remove and it allows for a super clean handlebar setup. The post moves very smoothly in compression and extension, and we did not find it to be sensitive to cold temperatures like the standard reverb stealth. Should your post ever develop sag, RockShox has also added a vent valve so you can fix it at home. The saddle clamp is solid and user-friendly with a single bolt clamp and a separate tilt adjustment. Finally, the remote is outstanding with a large paddle-shaped button that requires far less force or movement compared to any cable-actuated system. The biggest issue with the Reverb AXS is its price. It is very, very expensive, and this is as far from a value purchase as you can get. Despite the high price tag, it's also a little bit heavy. Our 31.6mm diameter 170mm test post weighed in at 768 grams with the remote and battery, the heaviest in the test. It does have a claimed 40 hours of ride time, but you've got to remember to charge your batteries every once in a while. Since we're all so used to charging things in this day and age that it isn't too difficult, but it is an extra step. All those concerns aside, the Reverb AXS offers next-level ease of installation, outstanding performance, and one of the best remotes on the market, if you can justify the expense. The next product in our list is Fox Racing Shocks Transfer Performance Elite. The recently updated transfer is one of our favorite all-around posts. Fox targeted some weak points of the older model and improved them considerably in the newer version. With a lower weight, shorter stack height, redesigned saddle clamp, and shorter overall length, this post made the jump from a mid-pack offering to one of the best posts available today. It uses the same buttery smooth internals as the previous version, which provide fast and easy adjustment on the trail. It doesn't take much weight to drop the post, and the return is fast and reliable with a nice thump at top out. In addition to the post updates, Fox also redesigned their 1X remote lever. The new large, high leverage, textured thumb paddle mimics a shifter and operates using a sealed cartridge bearing for consistent, smooth action. On the whole, the post and remote package was one of our favorites in the test. While the update offers a whole lot to like, this post still has a couple of minor weak points. Despite the fact that Fox lowered the weight, it's still on the heavier end of the spectrum. At 4.2 grams per millimeter of travel, it isn't a lead weight, but it doesn't match the lightest posts available. Additionally, the transfer is lacking some features offered by other new posts on the market. The travel is not adjustable to dial in the fit, and the return rate is fixed. These things certainly aren't deal breakers, but they would be nice options to have. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.